Namaste and welcome back to Grow with the Jan family. Today we're going to be talking about the Second Amendment and how we feel like it's important to India. It's one of those things that we feel like here in the U.S. Um, is a right that everybody has and we feel like it also helps empower not only the people but our country. So we feel like because people here in the U.S. can carry a gun then it's the next level back so like you have the army you have the navy you have the police and then if you need you have the civilians that can also pick up and help in case of a war so the reason we won against the british is they didn't really expect all the civilians to have guns and to be able to fight back and so we were able to kick them out of here and we were able to start our own country this is one of those things we feel like we feel, we strongly feel here at the Jan family that this is one of those things that will help India gain to the next level, to be the next big thing. You guys are up and coming. Modi's been doing so many great things, but this will really step you up even stronger. You need to build a stronger, your army's getting strong. The police need to get stronger. They need to have better guns, better equipment, and stuff like 2611 would have never happened if civilians were trained educated and were able to carry or at least have in their house so that they could have come out and helped the police during that time so we know it's going to be a process and and it's going to take some time for everybody to adjust but i think it's something that can happen you know slowly you can bring in manufacturing companies learn how they're manufactured tweak them so they get better supply them to your army you know and make sure then you can probably make your own and and then train civilians like so have the retired military train civilians you have here you have to get a license you can't we can't carry these guns outside our house they're only allowed to be in our house they're locked up it's for our defense only um, you have to get a separate license to carry outside. You have to go down to the police station. There's a long process. You can't just go to the store and pick up a gun today and, and walk out with it without them checking your background, without them checking criminal record to make sure you're not insane. So there's, there's a long process to this. And so we expect the same things. Like, you know, part of us growing here at the Jan family is we like to learn about India, but we like to give our opinion on what we think India can do better. And you can agree or disagree with us, and that's okay, because that's what supporting the family is all about, right? Sometimes you don't always agree. That's okay. We just feel like this is one of those things, a Second Amendment in India would just beef up the power that you have already and make it an even better country, and we feel like it's something needed there. And you can let us know if you think differently. But this is our way of sharing with you our experience here in the U.S. If my husband can do it, I think anybody can do it. Um, and educate yourself. Firearms are not a toy. It is not anything to take lightly. It can kill someone. You know, driving a car can kill someone. It's one of those things we feel like if you do it right, if you do it safe, you know, it's the only thing you take out you know if it's like you know your life is in danger it's not you're having an argument it's not you know you're always going to get bad seeds but this is for defense only and we feel like it's the next layer that that india needs to keep it safe so things like 2611 never happen again so we're going to start this up and let you see the rest of our video hope you enjoy it <music> Hi guys, welcome back to Grow with the Jan family. Today we're gonna to be doing something a little bit different. Um, we're gonna show you a few firearms that we've bought here um, for home self-defense. This is the only reason we bought it was for self-defense purposes. Um, one of those second amendment rights here in the US if you live here in the US. Um, but you need to know about gun safety. You need to know about taking care of it. And like we have, um, we'll show you later, we have a cabinet that we lock them up in. This is like, you know, driving a car. 
it, you have to be, you have to have a license for it, you have to get a background check for it, and it can kill somebody. This is not a joke. There are a lot of videos out there to show you how to do it safely, and we've watched some of them, we've gone to some classes, we've shot guns similar to these. This is our, for self-defense purposes only, and we went and got these guns mainly because once this coronavirus started and things got bad, we felt like we needed some self-defense. We are hoping that it doesn't come to that, but we need to be able to protect his family in case of, you know, it really gets bad out there. The one other thing, you know, make sure if this is something that you are interested in doing, especially if you're here in the US, it's one of your amendment rights, Look online, there's a lot of YouTube videos, there's a lot of safety videos. When hopefully um, things open back up, the ranges have a lot of um, instructors that can teach you about it and get you something that you feel safe and confident using in case you need to defend your family. So we're gonna talk to you about a couple firearms that we bought from Classic Firearms. And we've had some good experience with them. I'm sure if you bought from them before, you've had great experience from them as well. They have great reviews. Um, so one of our um, purchases, a high point, we were very happy with. Um, the other purchase, which was a little bit more of a historical piece that we want to um, fix and refurbish, we were not so happy with. And we'll tell you why in a little bit. But the high point that um, we originally bought. This is our first one from Classic Firearms. Um, it's pretty easy to handle. Um, we got the laser point put on it, so it has um, a light and a laser, and um, you know, definitely just for home self-defense. But this was our first one from Classic Firearms. In our opinion, we haven't been able to shoot it yet because of coronavirus, um, but we are just waiting to get our chance. And this is, uh, like I said, definitely for self-defense. So our second piece we bought from Classic Firearms is this SKS. But we did take it apart. And as you can see, we have the different pieces. So some of these pieces that have some um, corrosion and stuff, right? So the, the bluing is gone on it. You're gonna um, fix these up. Um, there's the magazine and can, um, you can always add an extra one. There's lots of videos on YouTube um, about this. And like I said, a lot of them look much more beautiful than this one. You can see, you know, there's lots of scratches. Um, looks like FU on here. Um, there's a big cut in the side. So, and like I said, when we were taking it apart, um, there was already a chip in it. And then when we took the barrel out, it cracked the rest of the way. So right now we're gluing it and, um, and we have to clean it up some more and sand it and then hopefully make it look. So we bought some stuff to do the bluing, which is um, like on the pieces, they still need some cleaning. You can see the gunk in them, but look, we have to fix all this in here. So we got that to fix the bluing part and then we got um, the stain that we're going to use pre-stain, stain, and the top coat. So hopefully when you see it again, it will look amazing, I'm hoping.
Money.